Good morning, good day, and good night wherever you may be. This is Art Thomas, and I have acquired a taxia from seizures and strokes to the cerebellum. In this video, I want to show an average of activity I do on a daily basis on days I don't go to the gym. Please note I am only showing walking activity, but I do multiple workouts on a daily basis. There are multiple devices that track your activity, but I personally use the Apple Watch. The first screen grab shows my activity summary. With that said, I did not start here. I worked up to this. My very first video explains everything in more detail, which I put a link in the description below. With the Apple Watch it will ask you to set your activity goals which in this case is 700 active calories, 30 minutes of exercising, and 12 hours of standing. I try to hit these goals every day to keep active, and if you're falling behind on your goals the watch will remind you. The days I go to the gym I go over these goals easy, but on days I don't go to the gym hitting the goals are difficult. If you have a device that tracks your activity don't set your goals too low because you want to make everything challenging day to day. If you don't have anything that tracks your activity I highly recommend getting one to help you keep active which helps if you have ataxia. Like I said, there are many devices that track our activity and health, but I personally use the Apple Watch. If time and other things are not important to you I highly recommend the Whoop. I try and do 4 walks a day. On days I'm unable to walk I do FitXR. Link in the description below. As shown, this is my first walk. My first 3 walks of the day are usually around the same distance with my last walk a little shorter because it's at night. Just like with all walks I don't look at the time much because something might distract you, so I pay more attention to my average pace. The lower the number means the better my pace is. When I first started walking without assistance my average pace number was in the high 30s or low 40s, and slowly but surely my pace increased with the exercises I'm doing. Because of ataxia everything for us moves much slower. Whatever it may be. Walk 2 is the same walk, but you will notice a difference in my pace. On this walk, because the average pace number is lower means I had a faster walking pace. Along with my pace I like to pay more attention to active calories, not total calories. I like to know what the walk alone actually burned, not my entire body which is what the total calories represent. Not sure why this walk didn't display my heart rate because I like to keep track of that ever since I almost went into cardiac arrest due to sepsis. Basically, my heart was beating 240 or 260 beats a minute and every shot or medicine they gave me didn't work, so they ended up shocking me to get my heart to calm down. The Apple Watch warned me about this. Walk 3 is the same distance or walk as walk 1 and 2, but this time it tracked my heart rate. This will be my final daylight walk. Not the final walk of the day. The final walk of the day I reserve for nighttime walking which is much more difficult. In between every walk I take a little break then start doing other exercises such as voice exercises since I can be hard to understand thus the reason I have a computer generated voice speaking for me. Another exercise I highly recommend on doing is balance exercises. I made several videos on those so please check them out to see if they can help. My last walk of the day is usually at night. I wait until night time because you have to rely on other senses instead of just your eyes. Your eyes are like gauges for your body, but at night that is limited, so you are more dependent on other senses which makes night walking much more difficult. For me, my balance struggles the most and my average pace decreases. I walk much slower, and it's noticeable. In one of my balance videos I demonstrate doing balance exercises with your eyes closed. It is the same exercise with your eyes open, but much harder with your eyes closed. I learned this from physical therapy when I broke my femur. If you get good at balancing with your eyes closed, please share and help everyone. Tell the National Ataxia Foundation about this because I'm sure everyone would love to know. Please help bring awareness to ataxia, which is extremely rare, by pressing that like button, sharing this video, subscribing to the channel, and click that bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. It's all free and thank you.